This is a video about convex sets, also called convex regions of the plane, and convex hulls. A region of the plane is called convex if, for any two points in the region, the straight line segment between them lies entirely within the region. So, for example, the region on the left here is convex because any pair of points I pick in the region, the straight line between them also lies entirely within the region. However, the region on the right is not convex. For some pairs of points, the line between them lies entirely with the re within the region, but for other pairs of points, the line segment between them pops out of the region. Intuitively, a convex set has sides that are straight or bulge outwards, whereas a shape that's not convex has sides that cut or bulge inwards in some places. Please take a moment and decide which of these four shapes are convex. You should find that shapes A and C are both convex, but shapes B and D are not convex. For shape B, here's a pair of points so that the line between them goes outside of the region. And for D, here's a pair of points so that the line between them hops outside of the region. For shapes A and C, though, we can't find such a line. Any two points we take that are in the region, the line between them is also in the region. The convex hull of a region is defined to be the smallest convex region that contains the original region. So for this region, its convex hull looks something like this. I've only drawn the boundary of the convex hull. The convex hull itself includes all this region inside. Now intuitively, you can get the convex hull by imagining putting a rubber band around your original region and letting it go tight. The convex hull is going to be the region that's inside that, that taut rubber band. Please take a moment and decide what are the convex hulls of each of these three regions. The convex hull of the star is the region inside this pentagon. The convex hull of this trapezoid is just the trapezoid itself. That's because if you put a rubber band around it, it would hug that trapezoid. Or another way of thinking about it is that the trapezoid is already convex. So its convex hull, the smallest convex shape that contains it, will just be the original shape. Finally, the convex hull of this washer-shaped region is bounded by its outside circle, but contains all the stuff inside, including that white part that wasn't in the original region. In class, we'll use the idea of a convex hull to help measure how compact a district is in our attempt to quantify gerrymandering. I'll let you think about how that might work.